A terror attack in the West Bank. A 19-year-old Israeli Defence Force soldier has been stabbed to death in Gush Etzion. Devere Sorek was stabbed multiple times. His body was found early on Thursday morning. It's believed he may have been a victim of a kidnapping attack. He had been studying at a yeshiva, that's a religious school in the area. A widespread IDF search is underway for the attacker or attackers. Now, no organization has claimed responsibility for the murder. Earlier, the Islamic Jihad organization praising the attack and the Hamas militant group issuing an official response a short while ago. Spokesperson Hassam Qasim saying the attack is the biggest response to the Israeli talks on annexing the West Bank to Israel. Our defense correspondent Jonathan Regev, who is on the scene in Gush Etzion. Jonathan, you are standing at the exact place where the body of the Israeli soldier was found early on Thursday morning. There's been no official claim of responsibility to this attack so far, although both Hamas and Islamic Jihad have responded. What is the latest information on the actual search that's underway at the moment? The search is uh, conducted uh, all the time, massive search, but it is clear now that uh, whoever the perpetrator here is, is uh, they're, they're long gone. Uh, this murder took place more than 12 hours ago, so the, the people behind it are clearly not here anymore. Now it's a matter of intelligence, uh, putting uh, lots of uh, pieces of work uh, together, trying to, to find who the perpetrators are. Uh, lo uh, this is work of the, intellig of, of the Israeli security apparatus, the Israeli security operation with a lot of cyber activity behind behind it to try to find any piece of information perhaps any piece of communication between the people here in the area that would lead to the assumption that they are the people behind the attack Jonathan the fact that Devir Sorek may have been kidnapped according to the latest information to hand would really ring home for many Israelis talk us through the significance and the stories in the past about kidnapped soldiers and what they have meant for this region it would clearly create a lot of fear because as I've mentioned a lot of uh, a lot of people here uh, go back and forth by hitchhiking it's a very common common thing and very close to the place uh, where we are in uh, 2014 five years ago uh, three Israeli teens were abducted in the summer of 2014 in what eventually was the build-up for Operation Protective Edge uh, that summer these are things that have happened in the Gush Etzion uh, Junction uh, which is right there behind us uh, is, is a place where there's constant friction between uh, Israelis and Palestinians living here in the area therefore it's a place that has seen a lot of uh, violent activity in recent years. Defence correspondent Jonathan Regev reporting live from Gush Etzion. Thank you again for that update. Well, for more on the story, we're now joined in studio by security expert Dr. Rob geist Pinfold from the University of Haifa. Rob, welcome to the studio. You heard my colleague there, Jonathan Regev, on the scene talking about the search that is underway right now. Talk us through the urgency for the Israeli Defense Force to make a quick arrest and that this won't drag on the search for days and weeks. Well, absolutely. Uh, time is really of the essence here because the longer uh, the IDF leave it and the, the longer between the actual attack and the finding of the suspect, the longer uh, the perpetrator or perpetrators have to go to ground. And also, uh, there's more of a risk that the flames will be fanned. Obviously, um, the, Israeli, um, the Israeli settler community uh, are very unhappy, as you would understand, about this attack. Um, the Palestinian street will be paying attention to what the IDF is doing. So the Israeli Defense Forces have to walk this tightrope of making sure they apply sufficient pressure pressure on local communities to locate the perpetrator or perpetrators because even if this is a lone wolf attack often individuals responsible have gone to ground with fa family friends or colleagues so there's almost always more than one person involved who the IDF needs to talk to uh, or find but at the same time the longer this goes on the more intrusive the security operations the more chance there is of riling up the Palestinian street and seeing a repetition of as Jonathan mentioned we saw in 2014 where a kidnapping attempt and murder of three youths actually escalated into an all-out regional war. This is something that the Israeli security apparatus and decision-makers will be desperate to avoid.